Hi everyone, Mike here from Watch It Paint It, and in this video I'll answer two of the most frequently asked questions about the new Army Painter Speed Paints, how well do they mix with paint mediums, and of course, which one is the best one to use. In this test I'll be using four different mediums and one of the speed paint colors. The four mediums I'll be testing are the Contrast Medium from Games Workshop, Army Painter's Quick Shade Wash Mixing Medium, Lamian Medium, and finally Liquitex Matte Medium. You might be wondering what rigorous process I went through to choose these four. Well, the answer is, these are the four that I had sitting on my painting desk. Now, to test these results, I'll be using four identical models that have given a simple Xenothal Prime but the area I'm spreading the paint onto is mostly a very light grey called Corax White from Games Workshop. The speed paint colour I've chosen is Dark Wood, which is a very dark, intense brown. The first medium I'm going to use is Liquitex, which you can get in a lot of hobby shops. And I don't normally use this for my acrylic paints, I normally only use this for making homemade washes that I use on terrain. It's quite thick and I'm mixing it roughly 50-50 with a dark wood. So you can likely see the stains on my palette sponge, that's from my last test. These paints clearly aren't meant to go on a wet palette, but this sponge is already ugly so I might as well keep using it. I'll try to reserve judgement as I put these on and I'll let you decide what you think of each one at the end of the video by randomizing them and then letting you see them together before I reveal which medium was used on each model. I will say though that the Liquitex mixed in makes the speed paint feel thicker on the brush and it doesn't seem that much different so far in terms of how dark it's making the model. The pure paint went on super dark as well and it was just a bit less viscous. Alright next up is the Army Painter Wash Mixing Medium. That's a mouthful. This stuff is fairly thick too, though slightly less thick than Liquitex. Once again, I'm mixing this roughly half and half medium and paint. I did notice a slight difference this time. You can see it spreads a bit differently on the palette. Now as I'm spreading this, I'm noticing, or at least I think I'm noticing, that it's spreading a little easier and it's pooling a little better in the recesses. But maybe that's just in my head, it could be that I'm just expecting this one to be better. We'll have to wait to see what the final product looks like to be sure. Next I'll be using Lamian Medium. I normally only use this for thinning down really thick paints or as a matte medium that I put over gloss varnish so I can paint on top of it. But I am curious to see what this will do with speed paints. And after spreading this out, it looks similar to how the Liquitex spread out but a lot more watery. Now as you'd expect, this is spreading out a lot faster since the Lamian medium is so thin. I'm not sure yet how that'll translate in the final product, but that's why we're doing this test. I think what's happening though is that the paint is running quickly into the recesses and it's pooling very heavily at the bottom of folds, like at the bottom of this cloak. Now for the Citadel Medium, and this is the one I'm most curious about. If you're watching this video, there's a good chance you own a bottle of this. The Contrast Medium is about halfway between the Liquitex and the Lamy Medium in thickness. And as I'm spreading this out, it seems to behave very similarly to the Army Painter Medium. And spreading this on the model, there aren't really any surprises, which is good. I'm happy to say that Contrast Medium and Army Painter Speed Paints mix very well together, and this paint is behaving as I'd hoped. Now, I'm gonna let all four of these models dry, and then I'm gonna let you decide which one you prefer. So here are the four models, dried and varnished in random order. Now I realize I didn't have a proper control for these because I only have four of these models, but here is the model from a previous test using the pure speed paint over a Xenothal Prime just for comparison. Now for the moment of truth, if you thought A looked the best, you picked Army Painter. 
Model B was painted using Citadel Contrast Medium. Model C was painted with Lamian Medium, and that means the final Model D was painted with the Liquitex Matte Medium. Looking at the close-up pictures, and just from tabletop distance, it seems like the Army Painter and Citadel Mediums created a smoother finish. It's nice to know that these are actually making a difference. They are doing what they were supposed to do. The Lamian Medium came out very gritty looking in the end, but it wasn't really intended for this kind of paint. And the Liquitex came out a little dark. The paint did pool and pull away, but it's not as noticeable as with the Army Painter and Citadel Mediums. So here's a better look at the unmixed and mixed paint jobs. You can see there's a significant difference in color, and if you want a more pronounced contrast effect, using a medium is the way to go. Now if I had to pick a favorite, it is a tough call. The Citadel and Army Painter are so close, but if pressed, I'd have to say the Citadel is a tiny bit better. I don't know if Army Painter is coming out with a medium specially made for these paints, but even if they don't, their quick shade wash mixing medium already does a great job of it. Well, that's the end of this test. Let us know what you think and which medium you personally prefer. After all, you're the one painting. The only opinion that matters for your models is your own. So which would you likely go with? Let us know in the comments and ask any questions you might have. I hope you found this video useful and thanks for watching.